This is Dan at Dan and Minnie's Journey. How is everybody today? While Man Minnie's in the shower, she's getting ready to go downtown with me over to the Dripwoods Cafe. Our usual routine. Well, we seem to have solved this uh, problem here with the heat wave here. We're down to about using one AC unit, which is a good thing. But right now it's raining. It's sprinkling right now, which is cooling everything down. Remember, this is a tropical climate. You never know when things are going to cool down a little bit. Today, I want to talk a little bit about inflation. Yeah, we have inflation here in the Philippines. But why are expats not suffering so much? The reason why, of course, should be obvious. That's because it's cheaper to live here in the Philippines. Cost of goods, services, and housing, whatever you need, is cheaper here. We own our own home here that we built with cash. And so, our only major expenses are electricity and water <laughs> overall you're going to realize a 60 percent saving by moving here to the philippines there are other countries in the world where you could live cheaper what so if you want to look it up go google it so how do i get money here is we do bank to bank transfer using the SWIFT system. No, I don't use Weiss and I don't use PayPal and other methods. I use that for transferring money to my friends. But as far as getting the monthly expense money here, we keep our bank account in the United States and we transfer what we need every month. The bills come due, the cash is in the bank here in the Philippines. We use BPI. It'll cost you a little bit more money to transfer it that way. You shouldn't be pinching pennies when it comes to the transfer of money. It's really very simple. You need a trusted friend or relative in the States to help you out. <laughs> we have my son who is joint owner of the bank account. If we run into any problems whatsoever, he can go right into the local branch of where we bank and take care of business. One thing you should know about banking in the Philippines is they're not necessarily very keen on filling out paperwork for the United States. So they try and encourage you to keep your bank balance below $8,000 at all times. Because they know that at 10000 they have to start filling out a whole bunch of forms for the federal government and so do you. You what? When you file those tax returns, they ask the question, do you have a foreign bank account with $10,000 or more sitting in there? Because if you do, then you have to fill out the form. You have to let the Department of Justice, Homeland Security, the Internal Revenue Service, and everybody else know where those bank accounts are. That is the law. But no, I don't use WISE. I don't use the WISE guys. I don't use any other service other than bank-to-bank -bank transfer. And don't ever listen to Dan, nor apply anything that Dan says. You should be spending the money as soon as you get it in order to beat an inflation on things of value. For example, there are things that come up every single month that you know you're going to be responsible for. You have to pay the rent. You have to buy food for the household. You have to buy new, uh, new shoes for the kids. But spend that money wisely, but spend it quickly. Believe it or not, you'll actually get a lot more value out of your money if you spend it when you get it. You're putting money in a bank account, it's not going to serve you very well. You have to take the things that you value and purchase them when you get the money in your hand. That's the best way to operate. That's the way that I operate. <laughs> wow. It is prudent to have an emergency fund set aside. But you have to decide what that emergency fund is going to be used for and how much of it that you need. And you have to work towards saving that money whether it's for medical emergencies you have to put that money away how do you save money one peso at a time one dollar at a time and want to make sure that that money is as liquid as possible what does that mean that means that you have access to that money asap your family depends upon you for shelter food and clothing on you you're going to get the biggest value out of your money during these times no matter where you are in the world by spending it on things that you value, it has to be need space. I buy quality shoes for myself so that the straps don't break on them. Five years old right here. Another way to put it is spend your money wisely and don't buy stupid stuff. The world is changing. The economy is changing. 
This is why Mammy and I built this home here in the Philippines. Hope you enjoyed today's video don't forget to share like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one